return to breaking news in Westwood where there's a heavy police presence on the UCLA campus. All classes at Moore Hall are being relocated to remote today. This comes as we saw people being detained at a parking structure on the UCLA campus. KTLA's Aaron Myers is there with the latest developments. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Eric. As you can see, we are here in that parking structure off of Charles E. Young Drive. This is where people have been detained. They have moved the students and people out here. We are not able to see the majority of them anymore, but we are told, we'll get into some video um, of what happened a little earlier, 43 people in this parking structure were detained, according to UCLA police. We are waiting to see if that many were actually arrested. Police say that there is a curfew on campus from 12 to 6, and that people here were before or out here before that. He said they were being detained for delaying an investigation. We are still working on getting more information about that. This is what police though had to say shortly after we arrived. Detention at this moment in time is 148 subsection A of the penal code, which is delaying an official police investigation. Now, whether or not that continues, we don't know yet. We have to wait and see, so it takes time. But that's the detention at this time. And Sky 5 is overhead, too. You can see a big police presence around Moore Hall. The university says classes and work there will be remote due to ongoing disruptions. They are also asking people to avoid the area of Royce Quad. Law enforcement is stationed around campus to help promote safety. Uh, we do see a UCLA police officer speaking right now. I'm going to try to get in there and uh, hear what they're saying. I'm going to put my mic in there now. What sort of alleged violation? That is the charge. I understand. Did you have a question? Uh, I'd like to know if we can speak to our students. No. Um, we're, 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 I'm here on behalf of a large faculty group. So right now they're not letting lawyers out here speak to students or those who have been taken into custody. But this is all coming as the Chancellor, Gene Block, announced a new Office of Campus Safety yesterday. He said urgent changes were needed in how the university administers safety operations after the chaos on campus last week. Those clashes lasted for hours before law enforcement intervened. A former police chief will lead it. Rick Brazil will be the inaugural associate vice chancellor of the Office of Campus Safety, which will oversee the UCLA PD and the Office of Emergency Management. Brazil, who you can see on the far right of this photo, was the chief of police in Sacramento from 2008 to 2012. He was also an instructor in community policing at Cal Poly Humboldt and has reviewed after reviewed other law enforcement agencies and police responses, an advisory group for the new office was also created. Now this comes after finger pointing where UCLA administrators blame UCLA police for what happened last week, but the union that represents campus police says it's the administrator's fault for the poor response. And as you can hear in the background here right now, you are uh, people upset about seeing these students, these people detained this morning. That's what's going on live right now. Now we are told, uh, at this point, we have reached out to Back Here Live. We have reached out to UCLA and the UCLA administration for the latest on this. We'll bring it to you when you get it. But right now, emotions running high here on UCLA's campus once again. Reporting live from Westwood, I'm Aaron Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio.